So at Marcus, you're playing college football and all that. Like, what do you miss most about you know playing sports? You know, what? Because like after athletics, everyone's career ends at one point. Whether you make it pro or you you keep it, you know, you never like if you make it pro or not, like everyone's career comes to an end. What do you miss most about being in sports like that? The one thing I'll never be able to get back, man, and the only thing like that I appreciate having you for is like having someone to be there for me on court, right? To have someone to be there support, to be something bigger than just me, and not have to always do it alone, you know. And that's probably the biggest thing I miss is having that team. With so, me. how have you, how have you like navigated that? You know, maybe with going out, whatever you want to talk about, but like, how have you navigated that outside of sports? You know, because like. As a guy, as like a young guy, it is so hard to find it, right? It's so hard to be a part of community. Um, maybe you talk about how you, what you've done to create that in your life. You're right, man. Like it's something that you can't really recreate, right? Like so you go to work, and yeah, those are your coworkers, but they're not really your team, right? Everyone's there trying to do their own thing. You're not really like working together and building everyone up in most workplaces, you know, you don't have your own roster, that special thing, you don't have your own team chance, you don't have that. So it's honestly just finding like my own tribe, right? Finding guys and ladies that are like us, that care about the same thing, that have the same values, that lift heavy and love it, yeah. you know, and just having fun, man. And just like grouping up with those people, but it's it's hard to find those people, honestly. No, I, I agree with you, dude. Because like, one of the things, I miss that, like that team atmosphere for sure, but like, one thing I miss the most is just that competitive nature of like, I'm gonna go to Sunday and compete and give it my heart. It's like, you have that in real life opportunities, but it's not the same. That's why I appreciate lifting with you. That's why I appreciate lifting with my buddies whenever I can. And that's one thing I really wanna foster in my coaching programs is this idea of competition, right? Like, you still can compete as you get older. Like, just cause you take off, you take off the cleans for the last time, you know, you probably remember that moment. Just like, I remember my yeah. last moment on the field playing the game. Like there's there's ways you can add it in into your life at the back end, whether it's working with people, the people around you, you know, so I love lifting with you, also competing against you, playing basketball and whatnot. But building a community, like building a tribe, like you said, of people that can just go and get to add some like work hard, it's, you know, like we play basketball once a week, we lift once a week, and you know we're talking shit. And each each time through, you know, it's like, hey I lost last week, but I'm coming for you next week. You don't have that. And so being able to build that in, whether it's in different workouts, you know, it's like a workout weekly challenges you can give yourself to compete with yourself in your workouts that makes it fun. But yeah. that's the stuff I feel people miss in their lifting. Yeah. Yeah. They want to go compete in athletics and be athletic, but they don't compete ever. Yeah, and so they, they don't have that mind switch at all. I mean, it just makes it that much more fun. Like it's one thing to compete against like a random dude, but compete against like, you know, someone on your team competing against your brother, mm -hmm. it's a whole different thing because it's fun and it's like a family competition where it's all love, but it's like, man, I come back every day and I'm like, I want to get better so next time I show up, I can be my best against this person. Where it was like, if some random dude who's not on my team, I don't care as much. Oh no, I'm gonna mess him up. Yeah, right? and it's, it's a little different. A little bit different that way, but it's so cool, and I, that's what I'm really excited to help build a community where you can foster that competition with like-minded people, where you're competing on who can recover the best, who can train the hardest, who can you know take care of their mind and just build that. And I'm excited to release that in January here coming up, but you know it's all about just training being an athlete. What 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 have you what where you say is since finishing competing athletically that you've kept in your training to feel like an athlete. Or something that you would say? I think it's been honestly just like the recovery piece, right? So as an athlete, like you understand the importance of like recovery. You understand that the importance of like, you know, like taking care of your body more than just like that hour that you're in the gym, right? The hour in the gym, like, yes, it's important, but it's a very small step in itself. Like if you don't take care of recovery, you don't take care of nutrition, then the rest of the shit doesn't go. You know, it stops right there. Right, so that's one of the things that so many people miss out on. It's like, yeah, you could work out, and that's a piece, but if you wanna truly have the body like these athletes you see, if you wanna truly like have like that athletic mindset and be like a go-getter, you have to be able to monitor and maintain all the pieces that an athlete does, right? So that means you're focusing on the workouts, but you're also doing the nutrition, you're also doing the sleep, you're also doing the mindset, you're also doing the recovery. And I think that's dope what you're gonna give everybody is like, you're gonna give them that full pie when most people only understand and know 
that little piece, and that's gonna be so big. Oh, yeah. You probably you probably felt it too, or like people are like, hey, I'm over I'm over training. It's like you're training hard. You're just eating like crap. You're eating McDonald's between your workouts. You're, you've slept for six hours. That's your big issue. Yeah. It's not on what you do in the room. And imagine like going to a football game in college and you got five hours of sleep last night. You had four or five drinks and you ate McDonald's. Like, you can be able to play. Yeah, you're not going to be good. And But we take this mindset of, I can go crush a workout the next day. No, you can't. Like, that's, that's your body. You yeah. Don't want Right, let's go. Let's go play some basketball. Compete here. Man. I appreciate you between the benches with Marcus and Jordan.